1968 saw the release of the action-packed feature film Bullet under the direction of Peter Yates. The film had a 20 minute long car chase scene between a black Dodge Charger and a green Ford Mustang which was piloted by the film's protagonist Frank Bullet, played by Steve McQueen. Now the movie is great car chase scene aside, I actually suggest you watch it, but those 20 minutes really set the film apart from other movies at the time and to this day. In fact it was so good that car chase scene won an Academy Award for the movie for best editing. Obviously this is something that Ford holds very dearly to them as ever so now and then they come out with a Mustang Bullet Edition based on the Ford Mustang GT. It's not the first Bullet to be made but it is the first one to come to South Africa so let's take a look. Visually there isn't much that sets the Bullet apart from the standard GT. The most important thing that you get in this car is the dark highland green body paint that resembles the original car. Also resembling the original car from the movie is the blacked out grille with no badges, these classically styled black alloy wheels and, although this isn't on the original car, a badge in the back that says bullet with a target around it. Inside the car you get these subtle details that pay tribute to the original car, such as the steering wheel which has the bullet branding in the target similar to what you see on the boot. You get green accent lighting on the digital gauge and ambient lighting inside the car but most importantly you get the six-speed shifter with a white enamel knob it's a really nice touch to the cabin and it gives it a real action movie style feeling under the bonnet you will find ford's five liter coyote v8 in the states you get it with a fully fledged 354 kilowatts sadly it's been detuned for us so over here you get 338 kilowatts and 529 newton meters of torque The Mustang is a sports car that just turns heads no matter what shape or form. We had that red 2.3 litre EcoBoost on test a few weeks ago and that thing was a real head turner even though it wasn't even V8. But the bullet even more so. So something about the subtle cues in the design, the fact that there's no Ford badges on it, the blacked out grill, the green paint. It's very intimidating, it's very eye-catching, and it looks like something straight from an action movie. It's actually surprising how well this car maintains its traction. It has a really fantastic set of Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. So even if you've got the traction control off, you've got to give it a real booting in order to get the tail out. Having said that, do not underestimate this car by any means. It is a beast. The power delivery to the rear wheels isn't as refined as something you'd get from a 1.5 million Rand sports car and it is still packing 338 kilowatts so there's enough power under the bonnet to make it a bit of a handsful but if you want to drive this car fast it's actually surprisingly easy dare I say obviously with a third pedal and a six-speed manual gearbox you've got to be more hands-on with the car but in here it works really well with you I definitely prefer this setup over the automatic GT I mean Americans do love the automatic so so do South Africans but there's just something about having this car in manual that makes it feel like more of an engaging experience. There are only 55 of these coming to South Africa and they've all already been sold out. So if you are one of the 55 that spent a million rand buying one of these, I can tell you that there are more accomplished sports cars that you could have bought, such as the Toyota Supra and the BMW M2 competition. But I can assure you that neither of those cars are as special as the Ford Mustang Bullet. 